Hey guys, it's uh, Jason Collinsworth again. Um, and I get a question almost every single day regarding ECNL versus Development Academy, whether that be in Michigan or um, uh, here in Western New York. Uh, and I, I did a little research. Um, and I thought that this research um, will really help show where soccer is going, um, at least in the next couple years, regarding elite youth girls soccer. And, and, and here's what I found. If you're not familiar with the ECNL setup and playoffs, how it's set up is it's set up into two or three tiers. You have the Champions League, which is the top teams, the top brackets of all the best teams. Then you have a North American Cup, and then you have like a showcase for you know uh, some of, some of the bottom teams that that didn't do great, but it's just another avenue to get uh, seen by college scouts. So I did some research of just the Champions League teams in the 14s, 15s, 16s, 17s, and the 18s. Here's the stats. Okay, if you see a red X. That team is going to the Development Academy. Out of the 56 clubs that made the Champions League, 28 of them are going to the Academy. You're like, ah, Jason, that's just half. That's just half. Who cares? But when you boil it down to teams, in the Champions League brackets, there are 128 teams. 79 of them are going to the Development Academy. That's 61% are going to the Development Academy. What's that going to do to the ECNL's level? There's only one thing that it can do to the ECNL's level, and it's going to drop. Period. There's no, there's no sugarcoating that. Out of the 14 age group, there were 16 that made the Champions League bracket. 10 of them are going to the Academy. 10 out of 16. Out of the 15s, 21 out of 32. 21 out of 32. Out of 16s, 18 out of 32. Out of the 17s, 19 out of 32. And then 18s, it doesn't really matter, but it's 11 out of 16. So my, my point of view is that the Development Academy is going to immediately be the, the top league, and the ECNL is going to be the second tier uh, club. Now, both are still going to be great avenues for to, to to be seen by colleges okay you know what's gonna what is the academy gonna do is it really gonna work out it's gonna work out u.s soccer will not let it fail u.s soccer will make sure that it does not fail and they're sick of losing i mean they're they're sick of seeing their girls teams their u20 women's national team lose to north korea in the world cup last year the 17s also lost to North Korea last year. How are we losing to North Korea? That's why we need that's why we need the Development Academy and that'll be a video down the road, but hopefully this information helps you and just, you know, uh, do the research yourself. Find out and identify your players' goals and wants and needs and then make your decision. Um, in the 15s, 16s, and 17s, um, the final fours, okay, the 15s, four out of four going to DA. The 16s, four out of four going to the DA. 
and the 17s, three out of the final four, going to the Development Academy. Uh, and all five national champions from the 14s, 15s, 16s, 17s, and 18s, all Development Academy clubs. It just goes to show you what's going to happen to the ECNL. I don't know the inner workings of what happened and, and how it went down, but I am shocked that the ECNL didn't just try to merge with the, with U.S. soccer. And I can still see it happening. If you want to compete, you need the best. And all the best clubs are going DA. But it's also you know all about age group. Such as, like the Michigan Hawks O1s are playing EC or are the Michigan Hawks O1s are going to be playing Development Academy. The O2s are going to play ECNL. The top six ECNL players are going to play with the Development Academy. So. I mean, but then next year the O2s will be the Development Academy team, and then East, and then the O3s will be the ECNL team, and that's how that's how clubs are going to do it with um, the clubs that have both ECNL and the Development Academy. The highlighted ones. This is the ECNL map. The highlighted ones. Are doing both. Thirteen clubs. I might I might have missed one. Okay, so let's say fifteen. Crossfire Premier, Slammers FC, SoCal Blues, West Coast FC, San Diego Surf, FC Dallas, Dallas Texans, Michigan Hawks, Eclipse Select Soccer Club, PDA, Concord Fire, Top Hat, and Orlando City, or Orlando Pride. So proteins. I mean, on the, on the boys' side, Development Academy, almost every MLS club has a team in the Development Academy. Where are all the NWSL clubs? Are they in Development Academy or are they in or are they in the ECNL? It's uh, guys, this is this research took me it could take you 10 minutes, but at the end of the day, for me, Development Academy, ECNL, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm more focused on the player and not the team. I'm focused on um, the player's development from 8 years old to 12 years old. And I'll leave you with a quote from Anson Dorrance, uh, the head coach of North Carolina, and he kind of sums up my focus. Thanks for watching.